Hello, this is Mr. Bailey, and in this tutorial I'm going to be covering CAD Lesson 1, which are some written instructions that you could use at the Temecula Tech Academy. In this tutorial you'll learn how to draw the outline of a state or any animal or anything that you like that you could trace an outline of. Uh, you can see right here that we have an outline of California. Uh, so for this I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to open up the internet browser and we're gonna go to Google and type in uh, octopus for this tutorial I'm going to be catting an octopus and then it's very very key you have to type in outline afterwards and now we're gonna change our search to images now there are a handful of images here a few of these are a bit more detailed than we can actually use but there are a few that are nice and uh, simple that we could easily trace over so for this tutorial I'm actually going to choose this octopus so go ahead and click on it and then right click and we're going to save our image as so you could either save it to the desktop or if you have a flash drive plugged in you could come down here and click on your flash drive I would name the image with your name so I'm going to name mine Bailey Octopus and I'm just gonna hit save make sure you save it somewhere that you can find it later and then once you save it go ahead and open up inventor and in inventor we're gonna start a new project so go to new make sure on metric and we're gonna do a standard millimeter part double click and now it'll open our blank part now the first thing we're gonna do is bring in our image so we're gonna hit start 2d sketch and we're gonna click on the X and Y plane now we started our sketch and it opened up all of our sketch tools but we're gonna be adding our image so if you go over to the right on insert image click on image and then we're gonna go ahead and look for that image that we saved earlier so I found my octopus you can double click on it and then be very careful not to click afterwards it'll ask you where you want to place your image and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap it to the origin so you see my yellow dot if I go over the origin it'll turn green you can go ahead and click and then it'll ask you if you want to place it again but we only need one so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the escape key just like that and now we have our image placed and we only want the image on our first sketch so I'm gonna go ahead and hit finish sketch now after I finish the sketch I'm gonna start a second 2d sketch and we're gonna sketch on that same plane that our image is on so we started our sketch now we're gonna be using a series of lines and three-point arcs uh, you'll notice that the octopus has a lot of round edges so for this one I'll be using a lot more arcs than I will with lines uh, I highly recommend using the three-point arc there are two other arcs but the three-point is the easiest to use so I'm gonna click on three-point arc and I suggest starting at a corner and working your way around the outside of the image so I'm gonna start up here at the corner of this tentacle and I'm gonna draw my first curve now with the three-point arc you'll click on the endpoint that you want and then the second endpoint and then the third point you choose will adjust the angle so you can see how I can adjust it it doesn't have to be perfect but you'll want it to follow that the out the black outline as best you can so now I'm just gonna go all the way around um, now the big the biggest factor is to make sure that when you start your second line you get your green dot this green dot means that the endpoint is going to be snapped to the other endpoint of that curve which is very very important when we go to extrude it later so now I'm just gonna loosely follow this black line and I'm gonna bring my curve all the way around as far as I can now when you do this make sure that you zoom in as best as you can it helps a lot to zoom in now that looks pretty good so I got the first part of the tentacle and I'm just gonna keep working all the way around this outline so I'm gonna speed this up
so now that we've finished tracing our animal or our state or whatever our image is of we're going to go ahead and hide the image so if we right click on sketch one and click on visibility you'll notice that the image will disappear because it is now invisible and you can only see sketch number two which is our outline so now we're going to take our outline and we're going to make it a three-dimensional shape so under 3d model if you go to extrude you click on that and it'll open up some settings and we're going to click on the inside of our outline and when you click on the inside of your outline you'll notice that it'll pop out of the page like in 3d now we can specify the distance that the outline will be extruded and for this we're going to change the 10 millimeters to 3 and you'll notice that even before I hit enter the model will change showing us that it's only 3 millimeters now I'm gonna go ahead and you can either hit the check you can hit OK or we could even hit enter on the keyboard and now we have our extruded shape and our sketch has been lost under the extrusion feature